back to the vlog today. Bye, Mickey Dog. Good morning, guys, or good afternoon, I should say. Right now it's noon, 12 o'clock, October 24th, 2016. Tracy and I are just about to have our lunch. I made some yakiniku beef, which is really basic. It's just beef with yakiniku sauce. It's really cheap. Uh, some marinated sliced cucumbers. Uh, some miso soup with some okra and tofu. Behind that is just some green tea from the convenience store. And a huge bowl of rice for me. Or a plate of rice, I should say. We still haven't gotten chopsticks yet, so we're using spoons and forks and knives. See, not traditional Japanese, but it's lunch. Morning! Morning! We are now in Shibuya again. Bye, Thomas. We're gonna pay for our first month's rent. So we gotta go do, go do a bank transfer. Oh, awesome. Only for the first time because right now um, the agency is getting our bank account stuff ready. So eventually there'll be direct withdrawals. But for the first one, we gotta go do it on our own. Let's go! Guys, we just did our first payment for our first month's rent successfully at the bank. Yay! So we got a little bit of footage, but not really in detail because the lady at the bank was helping us. I didn't want to bother her, and, I, and obviously, it's probably not permitted to film at the ATM bank machine, just security purposes. It was really easy. So if you guys come to Japan, go to your local bank, just show them where you need to transfer to, tell them where. In the most basic English, if you can't speak Japanese, and usually they'll be able to help you no problem. They'll go through all the steps with you and make it an easy process. The banks have been a okay. Now it's time to go to work. Okay, we're in Shibuya now. 
uh, we just finished work, so we're just grabbing a bite together. Mm. And now we're at Gusto's, which is a chain restaurant here in Japan. And I hear it's pretty good and pretty affordable. Prices are good, about $6.50 USD, $6 USD. There's some other fries with mentai, which is card roll, which is really popular in Japan. And these stuff, they're all $3 US. And this is all $2. And what else is this? Hamburger steak with cheese inside. Mm. That's good. And again, six dollars, seven dollars with a set. All these. And this one is other stuff. Pork, maybe chicken. Yeah, this is pork here. There is shrimp. There is chicken here. And that's one. Japanese style toto, which is tuna, tuna bowls, and fish. And other ones. And some vegetarian, maybe. Oh no, it has pork. It looks like a lot of veggies. And pork cutlets. Egg with rice and curry and some pasta, spaghetti, pizzas, and desserts. Got my corn soup. Yummy. <laughs> You look tired. <laughs> Dinner's here. Some grilled chicken and bean sprouts and rice. And Thomas got and soy sauce and chicken and spaghetti. Ready. So this place is actually just right across from the Hachiko. The window's over there. You get the nice view of the crossing, so make sure you try to sit there if you can. Thomas is finishing up there. And you wanna finish mine? And here's the bill for tonight. For the two of us, 1,940 yen, which is just about 20 USD. And he's finished, not a single thing left. And the soup. Are you full? Still hungry? <laughs> We are right now in Niku no Hanabasa. There's actually a couple locations all around Tokyo. And uh, this supermarket is great because actually a lot of stuff is sold in bulk, but that does mean that it, it is a lot cheaper than, for example, the convenience stores and actually some other supermarkets. So if you are in Tokyo, I highly recommend that you come here and do some grocery shopping, which is what we're about to do. These are all the yakiniku, which is barbecued meat, and they're already seasoned. Some are garlic, I don't know what this one is, but it's chicken, and this one looks spicy. 
uh, you can just get these and there's 10% off usually because the due date is close. Do you know this song? <laughs> okay, I don't know him. <laughs> oh, look at this steak. Sashimi grade fish. It's delicious. Oh, look at these huge shrimps. Just so you know how big they are. There's my finger. before the wasabi you eat with sushi this is the leaves of it that's so cool the construction workers here are so efficient it's incredible so they blocked off the road so they make a little pathway here for people to walk i just find that so incredible they're so considerate and they're so super nice like oh please go this way they're amazing here Good morning everybody, or good afternoon I should say. It's uh, about 12.30 p.m. here in Tokyo. And I just made us some lunch again. Today is October 25, 2016. Whoa. Time for another okay. day of work. I just got out of the shower, it's ready. So I received this package from uh, Amazon this morning. Uh, actually, I ordered it yesterday from Amazon Prime, like literally in the nighttime, late in the evening, and it came this morning, super quick. Uh, what I found was really cool is that the inside of the packaging, if we go to open it, it's like glued gear so that the thing doesn't move around. And I know you can bubble wrap, but I am so not used to this. I'm gonna try to take it out. I'm probably not doing it right because I think they literally just wrapped it to the bottom. So basically, this whole back piece, okay, well, first of all, this is in here so it doesn't really move. <laughs> it's super protected. And actually, inside the box, inside the box here, there's like, it was basically stuck to it. When the box is moving around, uh, the actual stuff in the inside isn't moving around. So if you guys are wondering what I got, I got an Anchor charger, which is a portable charger that you can charge your uh, iPhone or iPad, for example. And I got it from my karate instructor. It takes him two hours each way just to come to uh, the training facility. And so it takes him four hours of travel each time he does come to the, to the university to teach. And so his family and him have really taken care of me like family. And this is really the least I can do um, to just help him out during his days that he has long travel. Hey guys, so I am ready and I think the plan is for today because we both have work together at 3.30 in the afternoon We're gonna try and drop by maybe McDonald's somewhere and upload another YouTube video The thing is it's been really difficult for us because we don't have Wi-Fi at home We probably mentioned this a thousand times already but last night we tried to go to um, Family Mart which usually works out really well for us because their internet is quite fast but for some reason yesterday nothing worked so we tried to upload and then we came home because it was taking forever we spent at least maybe two hours when it should just be maybe maximum half an hour because it wasn't that long of a video to try to upload so um today yeah we'll drop by mcdonald's because i really want to get it done because we have a lot of videos waiting just to be uploaded. I know it's kind of off, 
schedule. We've been delaying the apartment tour video, the Q&A videos, but it's just difficult for us because we don't have Wi-Fi, and that is why we can't really reply to all the comments on time either. We only use our phone, which only gives us about 10 gigabytes of data per month, and after that, it slows right down to barely usable. So we are trying to conserve that for the things that really matter, like Google Maps, trying to talk to our work or emails. So other than that, yeah, let's see if we can upload this video today. I hope it works. But thank you for being so patient with us. After work, we just arrived at Honey's Bar, the juice place right in between the train station here. We are trying the big yogurt drink. This little cup is a large size. It is 370 yen. Small in my camera. Yeah. Large in Japan. And they have the garbage here. So make sure you do drink it and throw out your garbage right here. Otherwise, you'll have trouble finding a garbage can for like at least half an hour out on the street. I can try it. Go find me, pee. Go through the Red Sea. <laughs> We are in my lord. It's the weirdest name. But we're, it's like a big, uh, it's a Shinjuku station, it's a big, what do you call it? Department store. Department store, I guess, with lots of restaurants on upper floors. We're just looking for a place to eat now. This looks like Chinese. And Miki's having dinner with us. We all just got off work, so we met her in Shinjuku station. Oh, this looks yummy. I love their Japanese food displays. And it's so cool because they actually make their food exactly how it's supposed to be as you see on the display. Not like in Canada, sometimes it's completely different and it's a huge letdown. Nothing? Too expensive. We have decided on a restaurant. We decided to go with this tomato broth ramen restaurant. It looks really good actually. It's called Taitoma Ramen, maybe? I don't know if I said it right, but behind me is Miki and Tracy. And we will show you guys as usual the delicious foods of Tokyo. Thomas got his bib because he's a little dork. <laughs> That's how thoughtful Japanese restaurants are. They know that you'll get stained from the tomato soup, so they give you bibs. We are ready! <laughs> they all order the same thing. Tomato ramen. Yum. So guys, we worked so hard to upload vlogs for you guys. This free Wi-Fi in this building, and in the middle of eating our meal, Tracy is about to upload the rest of your vlog. That's how much we help you guys. Or that's how much that's how much we care about you guys and love you guys. Just being as stingy as we can but making it happen. Here's my noodles. Mickey dog over there enjoying hers. Yummy. <laughs> so after eating all the noodles and veggies and meat, uh, it's very normal for actually Japanese people to order rice and put it in the soup and drink the rest of the soup because it's so rich and delicious and it would be a waste to not drink the rest we just flipped over the bill no die okay i won't die i hope for all the star wars that fans so out there cool. it's a bento box <laughs> I didn't even take this part of it. Yeah.
That is amazing. Isn't that cool? It's about ten dollars US. Oh. And the plates and some mugs with the lid on them. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> Thomas? Thomas? Is that you? Uh. <laughs> That's why I love them because <laughs> they're crazy. <laughs> oh man, it was so fun to see Mickey. <laughs> that Nana was surprisingly so good. <laughs> still missing it. I'm still hungry. Currently in Family Mar, and who's that? What are you doing here? So usually we try to go to McDonald's and thumb off the Wi-Fi from Family Mart because they're right across from each other and usually we can get enough connection. But it takes us about like an hour and a half to upload and last night we spent so much time just trying to upload it from place to place and it wasn't uploading. And then Tracy out of desperation used her cellular data and hotspotted to the max so we can upload it. But it burned like 1.6 gigs of data like within like five minutes like that. So okay, screw that. But we at least got 70% of it loaded. And even if the internet connection cuts off, we're usually able to connect to another source and it'll continue from the 70% and finish to 100. So we get to Family Mart, I mean McDonald's today, and it didn't work. So we're like, oh crap. So we have to start fresh. It just wasn't loading at all. And then um, we went to Family Mart, we tried to re-upload it again twice or maybe three times. We did everything can to speed up the speed of the computer, but it's still taking three hours. So out of desperation, I just walked straight into Family Mart here, I'm kind of hiding where the printing is machine it? is. <laughs> and the ATM. And it's only going to take about 26 minutes, so i got to find a way to do, I don't know, to upload it somehow. Family Mart was a failure too. It went from 26 minutes and rapidly ascended two hours. Why? Out of nowhere. Tried resetting everything, tried clearing everything again, tried to do everything good to make it faster, but it wouldn't work. So now in 7 Eleven, the laptop is open in my bag. So <laughs> we'll see if it loads. One percent. Seriously? I think we're giving up. Give up. 7 Eleven didn't work. Now we're just at home pondering what we can do what we can afford and if we really want to invest in getting some internet which is bloody expensive I just I don't know if it's worth it